sits really good, doesn't it? Look at the difference in that. Looks incredible. So it was 2015, I thought, I can weld, you know, obviously MOT repairs right, you can weld in patches, plates and... Sure. And I, you know, I thought, oh, I'll just start having a go, so I built that. I mean, that, thing is, that thing's insane. Yeah. I mean, when we saw that, we were like, that is just freaking amazing, so the fact you've done that. <laughs> so I moved into here 2014. Yeah. And then I got the garage done and stuff, so it was 2015, I thought, yeah. I had a mini shorty, but I had that. I've got two, got that golf out there, so I bought two of them and used all the bits off that one because it was rotten. Yeah. And made that one okay, you know, the, the black one okay. And then that was just, it was outside as a shower. And I had my mini shorty, mm. sort of cleaning it, and you just like, I wonder what that would be like cutting off. And then yeah. Like six hours later, it was cutting off. Why, did, why, why cut it off? What was the idea to make it a shorty? Shorty, it's just what people used to do, isn't it? Years ago. It's true, I remember. Short, you know, shorty beetles. Uh, yeah, campers, minis, everybody. <laughs> but now it's like not politically a thing that's correct. And, you know, the purists. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. I just you know, hate that. You know, when people Same say, way. oh, you know, oh, shouldn't do that. Burn it with fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Before it has children. And it's like you offended them. Like, oh yeah, my god, yeah. I can't live anymore because you've just done that. It's so, true. So I do stuff. That's what I, like this. Like you know, you don't need to spend four grand on wheels to make. I mean, it's all right. It's not like a. I've got to do the bumpers again, probably. Uh, and there's a few bits I've got to go again, but in the time scale I had, the problem with Essen, you sign a thing, and if you don't turn up, they charge you like 5,000 euros. Ouch. Because they reserve a space. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Commitment. So, <laughs> so I had this kid that makes car bodies down the road for, he used to work at Morgan, uh, and he now makes car bodies for like rare Bugattis and shit, so he's mega good at. Nice. But they'll get like a year to make a bonnet something like that because yeah. all these rich people pay him so much money and he was like yeah yeah get it sorted I'll come and make the bumpers you know so I bought English wheel bought all the stuff recently and then he was like oh I'm just too busy and, oh, like, right. and I'd already signed this thing oh yeah so I could go to Germany so sure. I, you know I just had to I just had to yeah pop on a make and then have me have me have, have a go so they're not perfect but learning off that I can do them again they'd be better they'd be much better once you don't have that sort of time restraint, sure. having to do it. But, uh, but yeah, that was to say, with the bodywork side, I'm still learning that. I'm no mm. master craftsman. Yeah. It's just good fun. It's real good to just get stuck in, you know what I mean? So to do the stuff you're doing with the, the TV work, is that something that they saw your work and went, wow, this is crazy? Oh, yeah, NEC Classic Car Show, ah. uh, 2016, in November with that. And I was next to Jimmy, who is the main presenter on this show, Jimmy yep. DeVille. He had a speedboat with a jet engine, so they bought a jet plane and put it in the back of a boat, this jet Sick. engine. Um, <laughs> so it was kind of like, we were in the corner of all this, the funny stuff, you know. Mm. So there was me, I had that, a mini, and this jet boat. And then we just got talking and went from yeah. there. And they had already started season one. Wow. They were having problems with the people building it, so I ended up, all the like half built badly cars came down here one at a time so I finished them. You need to fix them. And yeah. Got them got them back to them and then they finished the show and then it kinda just went on from there, you know.
That's brilliant. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of uh, right place. Right <coughs> it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's just Sometimes what I think. That's all it takes, if yeah. I hadn't done that, True. then what would I, you know, yeah. it's just one of those. I run up the Andrea that runs the NEC. I yeah. said, Do you want a car that people will probably hate? You know what I mean? Because it's a restoration show, and that's totally the opposite of what you've been. <laughs> yeah. and I said, well, I restored it. I, yeah. Ish, yeah, technically. Ish. <laughs> Missing just a little piece. Yeah. <laughs> The only original thing on that is the dash and the rear beam. Every single part, nut, bolt, lens, arch <laughs> is brand new on that. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great so, piece. I think it's so. But yeah, I sent oh. a picture and she was like, yeah, just bring it. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it probably drew more crowds than probably half the cars were at the show. Yeah. They, they tend to. Yeah, they they tend to. The NEC has one part anyway that has a little bit of odds and sods. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've yeah, seen some, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. It was like, it was... I can't remember what it was called, it was like uh, Fanatical Owners. Yeah, we something like that. I love the name they give you, Fanatical Owners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was real good. And then, yeah, it just went from there. But I say I'm still learning slowly, but yeah. I'm starting to buy more stuff. Uh, and it's just, like with my other garage, we had a chap leave uh, an MOT tester in the November. Mm. Started advertising the following June. So that's how long it took. I had to employ somebody that wasn't an MOT tester to actually put them through their course because there's just no one doing stuff with their hands anymore, you know what I mean? No, it's yeah. true, it's changing. It's, it's, it's so hard to find people. Mm. Or people that just don't, some people just want to turn up, take a wage and then run out the door as soon as Yeah, clock in, clock out, yeah, nine to five. Yeah. No, it's true, so you've it's, got to find it's them. Getting that harder. So mm. that's why, yeah, you know, I want to help people to sit around and get tips and stuff like that. And Absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, plus it's the fun side of it. Of course yeah, it is. If I do eight bars on that thing, try and get it up to about 70 miles an hour, it'd be cool. Absolutely, I mean, it's like, I mean, this thing here is just incredible. Tell us where you got this and the ideas behind this. What was the the reason uh, for this, especially the, the bare metal respray, which looks incredible. So the idea... That's a respray. <laughs> yeah. So obviously it was like the money thing. So I thought, how can I... Because the body was real bad. Yeah. I thought, how can I... To sign it standard, I needed to spend five grand on a paint job. Mm. Which, when these are sell, they're like five and a half grand for the whole car anyway, so it was a waste of money. So then I was thinking, right, show car, but how can I not spend five grand on a paint job? Mm. So then you're thinking, well, you know, yeah, well, I'll take all the paint off, lacquer it, ace. But then when you get down to taking the paint off and all the sides crushed in and all that, I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to look rough, um, but yeah, so it's just, it, that, that was then, you know, I mean, uh, probably the cheapest set of eBay, you know, panel be, but yeah, just got, got to That's it. That's what you did. <laughs> just had a go, straightened it out as much as I can, and then, yeah, painted it. And then found out about this paint, which is direct to metal, no priming needed, straight, straight on, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. So what? Like in true fashion to any show goer, it seems like from that little panel card that yeah. you did work the whole night through the night before in order to go to Essen. It was, it was extra bits. So, so, so I got the body painted and then you're like, you're thinking about, right, plastic bumpers. Shall I take the easy option and wrap them in the metal look? Yeah. Wrap. But then that's cheating, isn't it? True, no, so, having more so, authentic. I mean, I ran out of time. I've got a roller now I bought, so I want to try and have a go at making a spoiler in, in metal. And the same with, you know, the area as well. I want to have a go. But the interior, yeah, what's going on here? Is flat sheet, and then I just got a bead roller. Again, it's just a compass out of my son's pencil box for school. <laughs> Genius. And just followed the, followed the line round. Oh my compass, God, the compass, yeah. And drew it, drew it in, and then the same with the tank. And then just, yeah, put it through the bead roller and rolled it. Just to give it a bit of extra stiffness, as well as if it was just a flat piece of metal, it'd look a bit, you know. Yep, really no, cool. it looks really nice. And what about the roll cage? Is it custom made by you? Or is it, um, um... it was a custom cages one uh, that I bought. It comes in kit form, so it comes ah. as just loads of. So you have to, they're all slightly longer, so you have to, obviously, every car's. It shouldn't be really different, but slightly, so yeah. yeah. Fit it in, and then the gussets, um, they're a piece of cake actually to make. There's the, there's the thing. 
you can buy a you can buy a swager a dimple die. So you basically this is the one I used on the front bumper. So you basically drill your hole to the inner bore and then that goes in and then just crush it together in a press huh. and it forms forms oh. the, 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 the dimple. And that's no it. way. They're easy. It's like twenty five quid. Twenty five quid makes it really cool yeah, as well. Rather than Effective. It's, it, obviously it stiffens the piece up as well as looks pretty cool. Wow, that's <laughs> awesome. But yeah, the bumper the bumper was a bit harder. Okay. Again, this is when we threaded out here as well. So the bumper, we made two two holes, and then dimple dyed them, and then basically did all that in with a, a panel beating hammer. Oh wow! All okay. the way across to match the, you know, the swage. Yeah. That looks so, really nice, actually, and that grill is just something else as yeah, well. Yeah. What gave you the idea to do that? Um, I did want to do it originally electronically and I've got all the uh, actuators I've bought ready for it but I okay. managed to space the headlights so the projector actually comes through. Okay. So I, didn't, I didn't use that again so it's just fixed. But yeah, the, the, the front, I didn't really like the standard front. They look alright but they kind of, it's too much plastic, you know, and then when you've got plastic... God, it's windy. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take off in a minute. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we go? Is it like Alice in Wonderland or something? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, yeah, I just didn't want plastic on it basically. Yeah. So I got away with the bumpers and then I didn't want a plastic grill and so I just walked. Yeah. Well, the rest is metal yeah. kind of look, and it would, like you say, it would spoil that overall look, and I think it looks yeah. insane. I see Mad Max kind of vehicles when I look at that. I'm like, this is like kind of it's real just, rough yeah. and. It's just, it's just older, you know. It's. Uh, looks brilliant. Again, this thing, you know, people say, oh, you know, yeah, but the headlights this and the headlights that. And blah blah blah. Yeah. blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, just appreciate. I mean, this looks incredible. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I bet when it's dark in here, it looks absolutely insane. I feel Knight Rider thing here. Yeah. That's like, oh yeah. Again, it's something mega wow. cheap. Wow, that is so cool. Mega cheap, eBay, 12 quid. 12 quid on yeah, eBay. 12 quid for two of them, yeah. Yeah, you spent all this time on the cost. Oh, four grand, no, no, but that's 12 quid. And you've just done that. That's the yeah. coolest thing ever. So the older indicators were obviously in the standard bumper. Yeah. Then it's where you put them without having a plastic lens on and all that lot, so I just thought, yeah. It's brilliant. It's a really, really awesome idea. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, there you go, uh, the, uh, the angel headlights. Yeah. Look at that. Good grief. And you can actually turn it so they on as a... Um, oh, wow. Like... I love this. Yeah, there's a key. I think I saw some key on the dashboard inside, I think. Or by the dials, I saw something. Uh -huh. ah. I wonder if I wired them up to the front fox. Oh. Yeah, so, so I can see them now. Idea. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what a cool idea, so you can do both. I bet night looks really menacing. You do a night shot on this, so it looks really raw. <laughs> yep, there they go again. That's amazing. Yeah, look at turn that. Off. Yeah, you turn off those indicators on just then and then you come back on. Yeah, indicator came on then. Yeah, indicators are back now. They look really good, don't they? It's like with all the newer yeah. car indications, you know, a little bit. That looks really neat. That's brilliant. What a cool modification. Yeah, way of finding them, you know? Sure. And what's, what's happening inside here? Because, I mean, those seats are just... Uh, <laughs> Something incredible. Where did they come from? So again, yeah, just kirky. So I didn't, I didn't want again plastic or yeah. material. So it was just they're wide enough so they fit my backside in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they look uncomfortable, but they're not actually too bad. I bet they really hold you. You feel like you're really strapped in when you take corners of this. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's again, it's. I didn't want to use too much alley because it's a different. 
Oh, it yeah. sounds a bit weird. It's a different shade, isn't it? I can it? see. Yeah, yeah it's like different shade. The bumpers are steel because if I'd have done it alley, it would have been a lighter silver, so you know they would have stuck out more. So that's why they're understandable steel instead of yeah. That's really awesome. And then yeah, steering wheel twenty quid, made from the finest Chinese in my expect. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on air ride. Yeah. And yeah. what's the air ride? Is it a custom uh, system or control? So it's. Um, Control, uh, control. Uh, it's Try basically a budget kit. But okay. It's really, it works amazing, and you can actually play with it a bit more. That's cool. Um, so it was twelve hundred quid cheaper than airlift performance. Okay. And it does the same thing. Fair enough. I mean, you build this on a budget as well, yeah, so you've yeah. gone for every way to find that. And um, engine-wise, I think is it still the, the stock engine? Engine-wise, yeah. So, so it's um, it's a stage four supercharger with forged uh, rods, pistons, um, pilot cam. That yep. was already in it when I got it from Mountain to Gorda. Okay. So the, the previous had it done. So it goes wow, well, you know. Mm. So when I originally got it, it had just a straight through pipe exhaust, and you were just like that. Like, <laughs> you got here. <laughs> Uh, and there was no interior, there was two seats and basically yep. you've done wood plyboard and then put carpet on the thing so every time you turn it was like <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask what was going on with the, what, why was it like that, I mean I don't know, is it, you live, living in the car or something? <laughs> it was, uh, it was awful. It probably could be. And I love, I love the steel wheels as well. I mean, yeah. what size are those front and back? So they're 16, they're 8 by 8 by 16 and 9 and a half, I think. Yeah, stretched. Um, yeah, the only thing I had to do was make camber plates because the original wheel, it, it actually came out about there. Right. So I had to um, yep. make some camber plates to actually swing that in. And they are so, from a... Um, did you say caddy? Caddy, like, yeah, caddy. Just they just look incredible, don't they? Yeah. Sometimes I always think steel wheels are so underrated. Yeah. And if you choose the right ones, like you have, it just makes the car look perfect. I can't even think any other set of wheels on this. Yeah. Anything branded or new, I'd be like, no, nah, I just wouldn't yeah. do it. This is amazing. Again, like price-wise, 320 quid, four, four wheels. Flippy, you know. You said actually earlier something quite intriguing. You bought them and the guy insisted he needs to power yeah. cut them and you yeah. stripped them straight away. You actually asked him as well. Yeah, yeah. And, and he still insisted. Because of the cost and time to get the, because getting powder coats off terribly, the cost and time to get them off, I offered him more money yeah. to not powder coat them and he said no. <laughs> no, no, I asked to send it over. Like, no, 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 moisture, moisture, you know, I don't want them rusting and all this. And I was like, I'm going to paint them, just don't powder coat them. And then, yeah, yeah. they came powder coat them. So How long did it take you to strip it back off? It took about four hours per wheel Gosh. to get it off because the, the shot glass, I say, it's like powder coat, it's like rubber ice, so instead of it like on a paint, it would hit and, and, and etch it away. Mm. Gosh. The powder coat makes it just bounce off, so it's just you there for ages, like doing one <laughs> spot, you know, like, oh, that's done. Bored just, now. <laughs> yeah, it just takes ages Gosh. and ages. That's but, amazing. But yeah. I managed to hide the indicator, the side ones as well. I was oh, yeah. Like, again, the big lens, it's like a huge... You know, people will probably say, oh, it's a bit small. Oh, that looks good it's to me. It's still there. I yeah. can see it and I'm behind the camera and I'm over here. I can still see it, so it works. It's there, so... So how, how high does it lift then when the air goes up? Uh, I'm curious of the ride height, you guess. I mean, is that, is that as low as it goes, I'm pretty sure? Yeah. yeah. People are always asking when there's something on air, right? Lift it! Bring it down, I want to see. I mean, it so. looks like a different car, isn't it? It's, um... Yeah, I can imagine it is. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, it rises pretty high, doesn't it? Do you know what? I think that the way that it was dropped before the, that level, it's a nice, I think, if you did go in low, you'd have to really body drop the head. But, well, at least you can drive everywhere without any problems. Yeah. Drop it. Massive. That's amazing. See, I think it's... Is it, is it Germany where the headlights have got to be a set height off the ground, isn't it? In Belgium as well. Yeah, the TUV stuff. The angle you have to be, I think it's 20 centimetres above the ground. Well, 10 centimetres from, um, like, underneath the shaft. Yeah, yeah. And, and then from there, another set of centimetres to the headlight. Yeah. And they're crazy enough to run around with... With a stick, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? That's the best thing about that ride, isn't it? Because you get somewhere, yeah. yep. you haven't ripped the front end off getting there, and then no. you can just plonk it down. 
It's changed a lot since we when it first came out. It was so bad, and now they're perfect. Yeah. See, out of out of the four grand which I spent on it, uh, two thousand two hundred quid was the air ride. There you go. So yeah. if I hadn't have done air ride and bought, uh, like there's a quarter over kit there for this, which was one hundred and fifty quid. Yeah. If I hadn't done this, I'd have done it at like more than half. So the whole car then would have been a lot less, you know. And it's bright.